Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. So a few weeks ago, Corey emailed me. So this tutorial is brought to you by Corey. Uh, she asked how to create an editable PDF uh, that you could distribute as like maybe on Etsy if you're selling an invitation template, kind of like the one that you see in front of you. Um, and how to distribute that without having to give away your raw Illustrator or Photoshop files. Um, so you could just sell it as an editable PDF. And let me show you exactly what she was talking about. So this is a PDF. Obviously, you can see it right here. I could open this in Reader. Right now I'm in Acrobat Pro, which I'll get to in a second. Um, but if I come over here, I can just click within this text and I can actually edit this. Um, I can say like Jane. Let's make her all caps. Jane and Derek are getting married. I can change this text, this text, the date. Um, I could even add in a radial button or a checkbox if I wanted. So how do you do all of this? Uh, we get to add all of these features into a PDF using Adobe Acrobat Pro. And Acrobat Pro is the professional version of Adobe Reader, which most people know what Adobe Reader is because that's typically how you view a PDF. Acrobat Pro, just like Reader, only you can edit and do all kinds of crazy things with your PDF. So whenever you get a PDF that you have to fill out an email back or add a digital signature, check some check boxes, fill out a form, all of that stuff was created using Acrobat Pro. And if you don't have Acrobat, you can get a 30 day uh, free trial, which is what I'm using right now. Um, my version was pretty outdated, so I wanted to keep things current for all of you. So this is the very newest version. It's called Acrobat Pro DC um, as of the time of this recording. So this is what we're gonna create in this tutorial, just making it totally editable. So the first thing we're gonna do is jump into Illustrator where the design is created, then we'll bring it into Acrobat, we'll make these fields editable, then we'll save it, and then we'll be done. Pretty easy and pretty quick. Okay, so I'm gonna jump over here into Illustrator. This is just a save the date that I created a while ago. It's part of a larger pack, which I'll leave a link to if you wanna check out the bigger pack. But I'm just gonna use the save the date because there's um, not as many fields, so we can move this along a lot quicker. Uh, basically, you're doing the same thing for everything, so um, you'll get the idea really quick. So right here, the first thing you need to do is on your template, decide what fields are gonna be editable. So right here, any variable data, da data that um, could change depending on the occasion. Uh, so right here, it would be the names of these two people, the location, the date, the state, the city, all of that um, could change here. So that's my variable data. Invitation to follow, not really gonna change on a save the date. The title save the date, not gonna change on a save the date. So these are the fields that I need to be able to edit. So what, I'm, what I typically do is I grab uh, a very expensive post-it note, not really. Uh, I just write down everything that I see. So all the attributes to each text field I write down, including the color. So right here, if I come over here to my color palette, I take down the CMYK build. So I would write down 4801926 is for this field. And then I'd come over here to my character palette and I'd see that it's Arvo, regular is the font. Um, the text size is gonna be like, I usually round it um, since this was just scaled to fit. So this one, I would say it's 11 points. Uh, the Sumter, it's roadway, 15 points, pavilion is roadway maybe 19.75 the date is 24 so you get the idea and then the color of this is 20151 so i've got all that written down on my post-it note and as soon as i have it all written down i take all these fields i'm going to make editable and i delete them from my illustrator file and then i need to make a pdf of this so i'm going to go file save as and then choose where you're gonna save it. So I'm just gonna call this blue save the date um, and I'm gonna save it as a PDF file. So just toggle this format down, choose PDF, hit save. Um, and everything looks good here. I usually just leave it as the Illustrator default because that's a typically a high quality print. You could change that to high quality print if you'd like and then save it. And now we're gonna go open it up in Adobe Acrobat. So I'm just gonna get rid of this, don't save come back to Acrobat. So 
I'm going to come over here and I'm actually going to click on tools. In any of the older versions, you can do the same thing. Maybe open up the PDF first. This new version, it opens it up concurrently with choosing the tool. Um, but you could just open the PDF and then just go to tools and you can do the same thing there. So I'm just going to come over here to tools and this is the new format. It's got all these crazy icons, but the only icon that we really need to find is prepare form. So I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to select a file and I'm going to choose that blue save the date that we just looked at. And then I'm going to click open and start. All right. So automatically, since we chose that um, we were going to create a form, it automatically inputs some fields where it thinks fields are going, but obviously this is totally wrong. And you can get rid of them really easily by just clicking on them and then hitting and delete or backspace. All right, so now we have a blank canvas. Can't edit anything on here because it's just our PDF. So we need to start inserting some fields. And when you go into the form mode, you'll have some icons uh, that you can put in that'll become editable. So the one that we need to worry about for this is a text field. And you can see this little icon up at the top. So I'm just gonna click on it and you can see automatically it's showing me that I have a field that I can drag. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's two like crosshairs kind of moving around. You can see it up here. Um, so that'll help you line up things on lighter colored backgrounds. But then I'm just clicking and I'm dragging out, kind of finding a nice little place. And then I can title the field name. Um, I'm just going to call this names for the couple that would be getting married. And then I'm going to click all properties. And right in here, I'm going to come into appearance. So this is the appearance of the text that's going to appear within that text field. And I'm going to change the font size to 11.25. Points. I'm going to change the text color to the CMYK build that we looked at earlier, which is 48, 0, 19, 26. Hit enter, close this out. And then the font was Arvo. So whenever you're distributing this, say you did sell this template on Etsy, you would want to make sure to include a text file that just tells the recipient that they need to download specific fonts before they open the PDF. That way the fonts appear correctly within the PDF. Because if I use a font that's specific to my machine, like say I bought a font or I downloaded a free font and I used it on the template, when the person downloads the PDF, they don't have access to that font. They have it they have to have that font installed on their machine in order for it to show up properly in their PDF. So I would just include a text file and say, hey, you can pick up the font here. Here's a link where you can grab it. Make sure it's installed before you open the PDF. So all that said, um, I'm going to grab Arvo, right? Arvo. I've got a lot of fonts on here. There you are. All right, Arvo. And then um, position, that's just talking about where I dragged that rectangle out, but options is really important. We want to make sure the alignment of the text is centered, since we're kind of centered right here. Um, and everything else is, if you want to get really crazy with all kinds of um, customizations, you can come up here to the rest. But I, I generally, I just want to make sure I've got my name of my field, the appearance. Um, if you wanted to put a border in, you could, but I don't want a border to appear on this. Uh, when you print it out and of course the alignment is very important too. So I'm going to hit close once you're happy and the next thing we need to do is we need to drag some fields for the venue, the date, and the location. So I'm just going to do that really quick. Um, so I'm going to drag this one out right here. This one's going to be venue title one, all properties. It's going to be, whoops, center aligned. Appearance is going to be 15 points. The text color is 2015, whoops, 2015 and one. And then this is going to be roadway. Roadway is kind of a cool um, font because all the lowercase are small caps and all the uppercase are full caps, which you'll see in a second. Roadway. Here we go. And then I'm going to hit close. And now I'm, I need the same font right below it, but I just need it to be a little bigger. So I can actually copy fields. That way I don't have to keep inputting the same settings over and over again, so it'll make it a lot quicker. So all I have to do is hold Alt on my keyboard, click and drag the field, and then it'll make a copy. But obviously I want to title this differently so I can tell them apart. So this is two 
and this one is 19.75 points instead, but everything else is the same. So hit close, and then I'm just gonna drag this one because I know I need roadway in the same color again, but it needs to be a lot bigger. You can see um, if I hover, I can get the little scale up icon, double click. This one's gonna be called date. Appearance is much larger. This one's 24 points. And of course, I'm just referring to my notes on my little sticky note. And then, so I have the same kind of layout over here. If I go back in time, you can see I've got, I'm back in Illustrator, you can see I've got the same layout on the left as I have on the right. So if I come into Acrobat, I can grab both of these. I'm just clicking and rubber band selecting them and then I'm holding Alt and I can actually drag them. If I hold Shift, it'll keep it perfectly aligned and I can just drag those right in here. And obviously, um, let me make these a little longer. Unfortunately, I can't, and drag both of them out at the same time, which is pretty lame, but whatever. All right, whoops. You can also Command Z or Control Z too with an Acrobat. Double click this one. This one is called City, and everything else should be good with that one. And this one is called State. And close. All right, so now we need to make sure everything looks really good when we actually input data into it. So if you come over here to this little button that says preview, I can come in here and I know I've got a field right here and I can just type in Annie and Scott are getting married, exclamation point. And I've got another one over here. This one was gonna say Sumter and then Pavilion. Obviously that one's getting cut off, so we know we need to change that. This is gonna be July 16th, 2017 maybe. This one was, oops, Alex Bay, New York. Okay, so now we can see we've got some issues, but it's really cool because if you hit edit up here and come back, it keeps all of your text in here so you can kind of live edit it. So the tops of these two, I'm holding shift and then selecting. Um, well, actually I can't drag them both at the same time, so that doesn't matter. But um, if I drag this up, you can see now I can see the full word. And maybe I want Alex Bay and Sumter to be um, knocked down a little bit. So I'm just gonna hit two clicks down on this side, two clicks down on this side. And then let's go back to the preview and that takes those outlines off. This is feeling a little too tight to the bottom. So I'm just gonna go back to edit. Maybe I, whoops, maybe I click this up two. Go back to preview. And that's looking very, very close to the original and it's fully editable now. Um, I just wanna show you really quick how to make a checkbox if you wanna do that. So I'm just gonna grab this little checkbox icon. You can do the same thing with a radial button right here. And same thing as with text boxes, you can just drag out and then label it, whatever you wanna call it. And then if you come to all properties and you come to appearance, you can choose like if you want the border color to be the really light like yellow color that I've got going on. Um, 15, one, I can do that. Um, I can have a fill color, whatever you want. Um, and right here, font size, like the, the size of my checkbox or my check within my checkbox, I can make it um, any kind of size I want right here. And the other really fun thing is checkbox style. If you come to options, you can change it from a check to like a circle across diamond square or star. Um, so if I hit close and then I come over here to preview, I can click and unclick. And that's how you put in check boxes. So when you save this, someone could click on a box. So if you're ever filling out like government forms and you need to check a box, they're doing this exact thing. So I'm gonna come back to edit. I'm just gonna get rid of this guy. Um, but that's how you do check boxes. So when you're ready um, to save it so you can distribute it, uh, all you have to do is go file, save or save as. Um, let me do save as, file save as. We'll do editable. And now I'm gonna close out of this. So this is the file that you would um, sell to people if you're selling it to Etsy or if you're distributing it, if you're giving it to somebody. Um, this is 
the file that you would send them so they know that they can come in here and edit it. Like what, before when we did the preview version, you didn't see any of the fields, only we knew where the fields were. But when you distribute it and give it to someone, they'll know right away where the fields are because it's already gonna have text there that they can go in and edit. And like for this roadway font, because the lowercase and uppercase are both kind of caps, just one small caps and one's a full caps, they'll know as soon as they start typing in here that this is a small cap and this is a large cap. So there's kind of nice little hints to the user as well. So once you save it out, you're all set to go. Uh, so that's how you create an editable PDF using Acrobat with a design created in Illustrator. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe. I release a new design tutorial every single Tuesday. And if you head on over to my blog, every-tuesday.com, I've got tons more video tutorials and a bunch of design freebies. So be sure to head over there and check that out. So subscribe if you enjoyed this and I will see you next week.